Here's the bottom line. What you went to last, Marcus, when you talked about Kyrie Irving has earned over $200 million in his career, probably more. Here's the reality. That's really why you're taking this position. You see, this is the kind of stuff that annoys me. And I remember I've said this on numerous occasions when people were talking about, you know, you got players that come into the league and they talk about keeping it real, being authentic and all of this other stuff. And I remember when one player, I brought up how he rolled up in the draft. Then you rolled up in the draft and you had on suits and your hair was cut just nice and you were looking sharp as hell and the whole stuff. Why? Because you were trying to get your money. Then once you got your money, now you want to tell everybody about being real and, and, and potentially compromising their bottom line because you no longer have to be concerned about yours. See, that's where the selfishness comes but, but but see, can, I use it. Can, can I ask you a quick question on this, sure. man? Sure. And sure. I'm I'm all I'm I'm pro vaccine. I, I've taken a vaccine. I'm double vaxxed. So have I. But you, you you said that he's selfish. Doesn't he have the right to be selfish to do what he wants to do for Kyrie? He hasn't yes. said well, anything. Tell me, tell me, tell me. He hasn't came. Glad. No, he hold hasn't on, said. On. He hasn't came out and said that other people I'm, should I'm not. Answering he hasn't question. said anything at all. I'm answering your question. I'm answering yes. your question. Of course, he has the right. That's the part that annoys me. He does have the right, Absolutely. but he also has the right to be called out for it. Just like somebody has the right to be real. Well, guess what? There's various levels of real. You can be real stupid. You can be real dumb. You can be real selfish. You can be real hypocritical. There's a whole bunch of levels of realness out there in the real world. Nobody is questioning Kyrie's right to take the position that he's taking. And then he brings up research and all of this other stuff. Well, damn it, it's, 19, it's always more than 19 months that this pandemic has been going on. How much research do you need? There's certain things that are just ridiculous and that needs to be said um but if i am going to be uh responsible for my own life then i got to speak on things that that truly matter to me you know i had to stop running away from using my voice and using my platform to uh you know speak on what's true and what's mine you know nobody's going to hijack my voice nobody's going to take the power away from me that i have for speaking on these things you know and don't believe that i'm retiring don't believe that <laughs> you know, I'm going to give up this game uh, for a vaccine mandate or staying unvaccinated. Don't believe any of that shit, man. Like, like really be aware of what's being said uh, before I even get a chance to be on the podium and speak for myself. True. Pay attention to what's going on out in the real world. You know, people are losing their jobs to these mandates. Uh, people are having to make choices with their own lives, which I respect, you know, and, and I don't want to um, sit here and, and play on people's emotions either. Just use logic. You know, what would you do? You know, if, if you felt uncomfortable going into the season uh, when you were promised that you would have exemptions or that you didn't have to be forced to get the vaccine. You know, this wasn't an issue uh, before the season started. This, this wasn't something that I foresaw coming where I prepared for it. And, uh, you know, I had a a chance to strategize on what was going to be best for me and my family. I came into the season uh, thinking that I was just going to be able to play ball, you know, be able to use my my talent uh, to continue to, uh, you know, inspire, influence people in the right way. You know, what's going on in conversations with scientists, physicians, and doctors? I'm, I'm just a hooper, right? So I, I don't, I'm not sitting here to give y'all information, give y'all a whole bunch of, you know, my wisdom beyond my years and knowledge. Now nah, I'm just here to stay real. I'm always going to stay true to me. And that's me. You know, this is my life. I get to do whatever I want with this. This is one body that I get here. One God body that I get here. And you telling me what to do with my body. And it has nothing to do with the organization. I'm going to put that out there. It has nothing to do with the Nets. It has nothing to do with my teammates. This has everything to do with what's going on in our world. And I'm being grouped in to something that's bigger than, than just the game of basketball. Into people out here, basketball is like a religion. Entertainment is like a religion to people. They like get so caught up emotionally. It's just like, yo, effing get vaccinated or just leave. You know, we angry at what you're doing, man. And it's just like, nah, that's like, what are you talking about? I'm a human being. And, and what's happening is that we used to talk about 50 years ago and 30 years ago and 20 years ago, where people will turn their back on you, I'm not agreeing, but people will isolate you if you simply speak and ask a question. Y'all don't see what the f is happening? I'm seeing black women 
on Twitter, black women I follow acting like this is funny. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. I had a lot of fun yesterday and a lot of laughs. Black women, are y'all forgetting there was a time not too long ago where you couldn't even make eye contact with people? You're okay with 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 what's happening. We're no longer even allowed, just allowed to voice our opinions or to ask questions. Now, here's, the, here's, the, here's what's in, interesting. What's interesting is so many of your favorite artists feel this way. They're afraid to speak up and I can't blame them. Look at what they just used Twitter again. If, first of all, I didn't give any facts about any vaccine. I didn't give any facts about anything. I simply said, okay, well, you know, I didn't want to travel with my tiny baby, yada, yada, yada. And then I said, my cousin, this is the reason he didn't want to take the vaccine. Do y'all realize how many men are embarrassed to even speak on things? What's been going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. We got to talk about the jab. We got to talk about the Pope, the vacation, whatever y'all want to call it. We got to talk about it because, the listen... Y'all just seen what happened with Nicki Minaj and y'all just seen what happened with Kyrie Irving and Screaming A. Smith and the rest of the media coming at them. First of all, I can't stand Screaming A. Smith. How you gonna call somebody dumb and call somebody selfish because they decided they don't wanna put something in their body that they don't know the long standing effects of. They don't know how it affects fertility. They don't know the side effects. They don't know nothing. This is one of the things that ever come out, ever be made. And you're gonna sit there and you're gonna tell that boy that he's stupid and he suffers because he wouldn't take it. First of all, Kyrie Irving has donated to George Floyd's family. He's donated to HBCUs. He donated scholarships, funds to help kids get to college. So how the hell is he selfish? And I'm not gonna say Stephen A. Smith didn't do anything. Most rich people do something. It's a tax break. So I'm sure he's done something but you have no right to call nobody selfish when you throwing that black man over the bus because of the decision he made with his own body on behalf of the NBA and ESPN to keep a job and you damn sure don't got the right to call nobody selfish when you the reason Max Kellerman ain't on the show no more because he was better than you and you kicked him off and made up a bunch of excuses as to why I thought it was getting stale you're getting stale that's why your ratings is down but we're not gonna stick on screaming a Smith you know we're gonna talk about this whole thing because like Nicki Minaj said at this point I'm convinced this whole poke and jab is literally natural selection. Cause like Nicki Minaj says, y'all don't see what's happening. Now, this is the last bashing of free will and free speech, okay? It's supposed to be the land of the free and the home of the brave. And y'all have people telling y'all, y'all can't say this, y'all can't do that. You can't work here if you don't have this. Now listen, at the end of the day, freedom and choice comes with consequence. This is why I tell you guys all the time, until you own your own, you can't be free. See, I was able to walk away from a side job because I got my own business. The side job, like, oh, you gotta go get a test. I'm like, I feel fine. I hit my doctor up. I'm like, doctor, I gotta go get this test. The doctor said, you got any symptoms? I said, no. They said, well, we don't got time for you, so send me back. So I went back. This dude said, hang on, called HR, typed up some BS policy that said I had to take the test because everybody else at the location came up with the COVID-19. So you know what I did? I quit. Why did I quit? Because I have a movie on Amazon. Why did I quit? Because I run my own photography and videography videos. Why do I quit? Because I am a business. I'm not a businessman. I am a businessman. Okay? And I want to throw that out there too because anybody saying, oh, Kyrie only feels like he can say all this stuff because Kyrie has all this money. Well, listen, <laughs> it's not about money. It's about multiple streams of income. One of the reasons I tell you guys to have multiple streams of income besides owning your own business all the time is so that if a job gets crazy, all your eggs ain't in one basket. You can just up and you can just leave. But look at how they're coming at this man. The entire media, they calling them stupid. They calling them retarded. They attacking them personally. They ostracizing them. They did the same thing to Nicki Minaj. They kicked Nicki Minaj off of Twitter for like two weeks just because he said that she knows of a guy, I think it was her cousin, who his ball swelled up after he got the vax. She didn't say not to take the Pope. She literally never said not to take the Pope. She actually said you probably should take the Pope. She just said do your research to make sure it's not gonna mess you up. And they sent the Minister of Health, they sent Pierre's Morgan, they sent half of Shea Butter Twitter and the bots on Twitter. They sent the whole world to attack Nicki Minaj. And when she went back down, cause she retweeted something Tucker Carlson said, and then of course they called him racist. Well he's racist, why you support him? He's a white supremacist. But Biden, who y'all swear ain't a white supremacist, just defunded HBCUs, but I digress. <laughs> They said that he was a white supremacist, so she shouldn't even be talking to him, and then turned her whole entire Twitter off. Now, I told y'all when they turned Trump's Twitter off that this was a dangerous road that we were going down. But y'all ain't want to listen. Y'all ain't want to hear that. Then they cut her Twitter off. 
Now they ostracizing Kyrie Irving. This is crazy to me. This is crazy. First of all, isn't it supposed to be a HIPAA violation or some type of violation to even tell people rather or not you getting the poke or the jab? Like, since when has your medical records been for public consumption? I mean, people just run around randomly. Like, you get the poke? You got the poke? You got the poke? You shouldn't even be asking that. Y'all know what I say to people when they ask me if I got the poke? I say, do you got AIDS? You got herpes? And they look at me like, what? But then don't ask me if I got the poke. Again, like I've said before, and I'm going to say it one more time. The flu has been around for longer than COVID. It has killed more people for COVID. They ain't never make that vaccine mandatory. I repeat, it's been around for longer. And it's killed more people, but they ain't never made that jab mandatory. But now, in less than two years, with a less than 3% fatality rate, it's lower than that. I'm just being nice by saying 3%. We all got to get this poke. We all got to get this jab. Guys with this. I don't really care if you get the poke or not. It's up to you, but I want to leave you guys with this. If you have to be guilted, bullied, ostracized, shamed, incentivized, lied to, tricked, coerced, or any, any of the sort, okay, to follow a program or to take or do something, you can pretty much be assured that whatever it is that it is that they want you to take or do is not in your best interest, okay? That's from Ian Walters. Look it up. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. So do what you think is best for you. But this bullying, this silence and everybody, this cancel culture right now is crazy. And if you're not fighting against this, you're gonna regret it in the next decade. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.